Hello, comic fans. Here's Earl Grey. Cheers. Well, let's talk about Carmen. A five-issue series, I guess it was, came out in the last year. Always kept me at the edge of my seat whenever someone was presenting his issue of the month uh, to the world because it has these interesting characters here um, and layouts. Um, look at this one here, for an instance, where you're guided through the different stories of that house in that story. Um, but it's not uh, just one uh, double page here. It's throughout the book uh, that it is played with um, perspectives and, and panel layouts and stuff like this. Uh, so that's good blend of European sensibilities with American stuff. And by the way, I will file this under European comics because Julia March, who has done almost everything, he had a bit of help with the colors, but otherwise it's a one man show. Uh, he's a Spaniard, uh, Julia March. Uh, but uh, this, yeah, um, this love for uh, doing stuff with uh, panel layouts. And so that's not necessarily a European thing because we used to stick more to this um, rig rigid grid here. Yeah, lots of uh, naked ladies here, uh, but it's really uh, not big of a deal, actually. Uh, she's... Um, they're running around naked for for reason. I mean, it's a bit silly that our Lady Death character, aka Carmen from Karma, you get it. Uh, she's a part of the celestial bureaucracy, if you will. If something like heaven and hell would exist, it's a bit openly how we should view this world here, because we have some scenes in which uh, the some of the um, newly um, deceased people float uh, to the to heavens and and some down below but somehow these concepts like sins and so, uh, something else are clearly uh, pointed out as just uh, imaginations of humans inventions of humans they are not for real so uh as it should be, we're not explained what happens after death, hundred percent. But somehow, 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 here's an amazing double page. One of the many amazing double pages in this book here. In this one here, we can take a glimpse into the mechanics of the celestial bureaucracy. Uh, funnily enough, we have three angels of death right there. Uh, not only our Carmen, uh, but this old lady here and somehow middle-aged lady. Uh, she's missing here on this, these pages. Uh, so three ladies uh, having a word in the, uh, with our fate. Uh, if you have read Sandman, at least uh, you should. This this concept should sound familiar to you. And let me, uh, in uh, regards to Sandman, let me put it this way: um, Death in Sandman is one of the coolest comic characters ever. But uh, it really had uh, got a competitor with uh, our Carmen here, our Lady of Death. Um, and she has to assess um, yeah, uh, the human beings when they're dying. Uh, should they go up or should they go down? And uh, with some, she makes really a short process uh, case closed in an instant. And this is really funny as a contradiction to the efforts, all the efforts uh, she takes with our main character Catalina here uh, that this lady uh, over there she's flying around naked a lot and so this is actually much more lighthearted than I uh, thought it would be uh, I mean the topic of death and maybe redemption and so on it's um, yeah not 
easy to get this in a very inter across in a very entertaining way but this book totally achieves that almost and yeah almost in a uh, hollywood uh, way like manner i mean i could easily um imagine uh, a movie made out of this not only right now but way back then with audrey hepburn as carmen this this would have worked fantastically even though i wonder if she would have a, uh, run around uh, with this costume all the time um, but um, yeah they sh had to put her clothes on for sure um, but otherwise then there's a um, new thing that gives the story here a bit of an edge this feels pretty familiar the story and uh, very yeah um, very well paced well drawn well told story uh, you can discuss if the ending was really the right thing i can tell you i found it uh, pretty satisfying even though if you would create what wanted to have created big literature you would maybe go for a different ending but since i don't want to spoil anything i mean it it stuck the landing a hundred percent i'm uh, it's a absolutely well-rounded story from start to finish wonderful thing um to this um edition here right now i think i'm afraid this is um german uh thing only that they put out this book here in this uh size um i mean this is really european album size put out by crosscult um the clean art uh and the way uh, it was done with the computer obviously uh allows uh, a bit of a smaller format here i don't think that this a big format is necessary uh but with this amazing art here i mean look at uh, all the stuff here uh i'm really glad that they put it uh into a big book like this here but i think the uh, english version uh, is a bit smaller they screwed up here in the end i have to say uh, just a little flaw here in this book um, of course it's a great idea to put uh, stuff like this here uh, drawings and sketches into this book here but i don't know if you can see it you really see the pixels it's pixelated like hell so uh, they printed from low res uh, low resolution scans or whatever or maybe you don't see this in the smaller english version but in the bigger uh, one here it's pretty annoying but one tiny flaw all over uh, you get more than 150 pages of yeah good entertainment and man i really do need good entertainment right now thanks for listening and watching goodbye